Hello, welcome to this Black Talk Radio News Commentary with Scotty Reed. Please continue to support the nonprofit Black Talk Media Project with a tax-deductible donation today. I'm doing a follow-up to a podcast I did about a month or so ago when I came across a anti-Bernie Sanders ad, and I tried to find where it came from, and it is you can call it an ad, but really it was a meme or a political cartoon. And one of my friends who is a victim of the ADOS propaganda um, against the Democrats because they don't call out Republicans whatsoever. And one of his founders in 2016 was supporting the policies of Bernie Sanders because the things that they are asking for in terms of reparations, Bernie Sanders is offering to all Americans except for a check. But to all Americans now, uh, she knew that black people would be helped the most by those policies. It was only common sense to support Bernie Sanders if you was black over Hillary Clinton. But fast forward 2019, ADOS is around. I think they was born in 2018. um, And all of a sudden, she's a mega hat wearing uh, Trump supporter and is spewing all this right-wing rhetoric related to immigration and it really doesn't make sense until you find out that she sits on the board of a right-wing funded organization you know um some of them some of the reports have connected that so-called progressive which is really a a right-wing immigration group to white nationalists and what have you but anyway One of my friends that was on Facebook who is a victim of ADOS propaganda shared a political cartoon. And I asked him where did he get this political cartoon that was targeting uh, Bernie Sanders. And he said that he got it from somebody else on Facebook. He just, you know, saved, saved the image and then posted it to his timeline. And he said, well, I can't tell you where the other person got it from. So I started doing some investigative journalism and I tried to source this political cartoon targeting Bernie Sanders. Now, you may not be able to read the cartoon, but it's basically saying, hello, demographic that I need. Um, whose votes that I need and then they're asking him hey do you support reparations then he's pausing and he's like I'll get back to you on that well Bernie Sanders as far as I know has the only long time reparations advocates um, working on his campaign and supporting his campaign uh, one, of, one of them I can't remember Dan, uh, Danny Glover testified at the HR 40 uh, hearing. So he's supporting Sanders and both of them put out a video supporting reparations in HR 40 and Bernie Sanders as far as I know is the only one who has promised to to sign HR 40 into law. So I was like, okay, where did this come from? Did it come from ADOS? Um cuz I never heard of them use the term black American descendants of of slaves, which is what the political cartoon says. They always say American descendants of slaves. Okay, then most cartoons or artists, I guess, you know, they they proud of their work and they'll sign it. So I did a search on the name of the artist which was on the political cartoon and I found a white person who is living in the Ukraine as the one who put this out. And as you and I also found his Instagram account and it's the only it's the only person by that name that I could find online is this white person. A Ukrainian a student at, at uh, I believe he's a student. I forgot what his exact major was which was listed, but he lives in the Ukraine. So I was involved in a thread today where this friend of mine on Twitter was being targeted by ADOS with a lot of vitriol or people identifying as ADOS and they questioned if she was even black and I was like well that's rich considering uh, research has shown that many of these ADOS trolls are white people so I found this article from 
uh, Media Matters, which is a left-leaning uh, media watchdog website. It's a nonprofit, just like the Black Talk Media Project is a nonprofit. And it's been around for quite some time, but they mainly focus on conservative media or, or anything that's coming from the right. So I'm going to read this excerpt from an article they did on ADOS. It says, there is evidence that white supremacists have jumped on board with ADOS and that 4chan posters may be using the movement to sow division. On 4chan, a Media Matters analyst showed that posts containing ADOS or American Descendants of Slaves started appearing on 4chan in August of 2018 with mentioning spiking up by the end of February 2019 and again in early April 2019. Users posting to the politically incorrect board latched on to ADOS asking how to make this movement become more widespread, calling for users to meme it and step up and help them organize as a way to cause division during the 2020 Democratic primary, speculating on posts about whether the group could lead to Kamala Harris being hurt in the Democratic primary. Of course, Kamala Harris is uh, one of two African-American or, or people who identify as black that's running for president. But as you as I continue to read the article from Media Matters states more over, there's evidence that white supremacists could be using the hashtag to sow division in social media among black users. In a thread expressing support for the New Zealand mass shooter, a user prompted the use of the ADOS hashtag as a way to criticize black Bernie Sanders as someone wanting to help whites while not paying reparations. Now, now, this makes me believe that this Ukrainian who is behind the uh, anti-Bernie Sanders and using black ADOS in his political cartoon is a neo-Nazi. Now, you can do the research but since the United States helped push out the last elected president who they saw as too Russian friendly after they pushed him out, um, it was taken over. Ukraine was taken over by white supremacists and neo-Nazis marching in the streets, um, expressing anti-Semitism and what have you. Well, it makes sense that this Ukrainian possible neo-Nazi would target Bernie Sanders since he's the only Jewish candidate for president in the Democratic primary. So um, I want to thank my Twitter friend for starting the thread that she did because it led me to do this follow up as I uncover more information. So we have a Ukrainian possible neo-Nazi meddling in the 2019 DNC primary and I bet you a dime to a dollar that the mainstream media will not touch this story. Oh, they'll talk about Trump and the Ukrainian connection and Joe Biden. Um, you know, we got the video of Joe Biden saying he forced the prosecutor out. And without, they'll talk about that all day long, and whether it's true, whether it's false, whatever. But I bet they won't talk about this Ukrainian, possibly neo-Nazi meddling in the 2019 elections. All right, this has been Scotty Reed with a Black Talk Radio news report and commentary. Again, please support independent black media. You can make a tax deductible donation to the nonprofit media organization, Black Talk Media Project, by visiting um, our digital radio and audio podcast and platform, blacktalkradionetwork.com. Peace and blessings to all.